This is a gable roof. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it happens like that. So uh, if you really? wanted to uh, change out different areas, uh, but this is a simple gable roof. If you needed to change out your numbers, there's buttons to allow you to do that. Now, we can't go over every single thing, but we just wanted to give you the basics so that you're not afraid of Xactimate and getting out there and just to really show you the opportunity in um, being able to use um, Xactimate to, to build up your business. But you can see like this kitchen here. Um, if I wanted to change the name of this room, you just right click and let's say this, you know, maybe this was a dining room. Mm -hmm. And you can just simply change the names of that if you wanted to. Now, do you ever use these block tools or area tools? Yeah, most definitely. I use uh, annotations. I use the block tools. Um, I use the lines. Uh, the more the more detailed you can, it, it separates you from everyone else. So if someone else is looking at it and you know that you're going to have contractors and other adjusters looking at it, uh, go ahead. And you, if you were in that room or you know where it is and you have the room drawn out, use the annotations, use the lines. Say, hey, this is where the damage is on this back wall back here. So that right. anyone looking at it, including the insurer, knows where you are estimating for the damage. Right. Yep. And this one, for some reason, our annotation, I don't know if we have that, but it's, mm -hmm. it's always grayed out on ours. Um, so, okay. but this block, so everyone, so this is a room I'm going to, the block is really good. I usually use it for cabinetry mm -hmm. when it comes to the block. So if I yeah. put this block here, Cabinets are usually on the bottom. They're usually uh, three feet deep, 